Oh, hello, hello, and uh, welcome. My name is Dmitri, aka Green Fork, and uh, right now we will continue our great adventure of parsing the Resolve Conf file and probably contributing to the standard library of the Air programming language. So we were building our parser. Let me make this text bigger and this one too. Here's what we have right now. We have an alt function which we will rewrite because currently it mm, just collects all the IP addresses, all the name servers, and we want to mm, make a more general one. Last time we did a very interesting part of uh, accumulating all the comments, all the data structures, and now we will do. Uh, since all the scaffolding is already present here. We can actually do some parsing what we have uh, right now. All right. So we have a name server here, and we will just uh, continue. Continue. Where is our result.conf men five? All right. Name server search. So let's start with the next one, case search. And what do we do now? One entry, the local domain name. Mm -hmm. After the first dot. Okay, I think it is just a string, right? We need just a string. Search an array of strings or a single string. Uh, I think we have it uh, etc of con. We have just a single thingy here. Search list for host name lookup. Search list. Mm-hmm. By default search list contains one entry. Mm-hmm. And this is also a bit strange. This may be changed by listing the desired domain search path following the search keyword with spaces or tabs separating the names. I don't really understand how this is supposed to be and uh, it doesn't have any examples unfortunately uh, yeah i think i'll just give up maybe give up a little bit uh, after some research um resolve conf Search example. Resolve. Maybe. Yes. Maybe someone tell me. Mm hmm. Uh huh. So if we do ping webexample.com, it will serve the request. The ping web, it will say temporary failure, this web. So to serve the request, I have to write an entry in as search example.com. Okay, okay. Mm hmm. It will append this one. Okay, let's make it a single string. Just a single string, not an array of strings. Because I do not really understand if we ever need an array of strings. So what we need is... Uh, I think this routine will be quite useful.
I want to make this routine uh, as a as a subroutine <laughs> subroutine and I will speak okay let's just uh, put this either invalid or token I don't know let's uh, let's wait a bit let's not uh, pen p search as we take a buffer that we have created and we get the search or an error we copy this uh, here we basically do this thing so and uh, do we want to free it I suppose no it is exactly what we want so we don't want to free it don't talk and the test for it uh, search search example dot com and we next is search string and we don't need ip equal because we just compare strings together and here is a string too. So how about that? Uh, I think double baron is not what we want. Valid cast from const. Mix result conf search. All right, all right. So uh, what we want is uh, to make this into a string, and strings are supposed to be uh utf-8 UTF encoded so uh, we uh, try to convert it to utf-8 encoded we check if this converted and then we are okay if we are uh, if there is an invalid utf encoded string we read an error by the way this uh, uh question mark says that we will uh Hoist the error to the very top. It will return the error if it be, if it occurs here. A similar thing is present in Rust. Session condition must be boolean. Mm, and what do you mean by that? Oh, I see. I need to do it like so. And we fail. Reached and reachable code. Ah, oh, I suppose it is here. Case search. And in case of search, we need to uh, free. Free it. Right? Yeah. Mm, let s equal search. And we free as. Sure, like so. Oh, great, great. We have our search ready. And uh, let's go with the next one. I suppose it will be pretty similar. So what we have next, sort list. Oh, this, this is going to be interesting, I believe. Is sort list. Um, P. P is for parse. Sort list. Scanner. Config. And let's uh, make this function. Sort list. All right, all right. Uh, and here is an example. I really like examples. So. Here we go. So we not only have a single directive, but we can have several directives. And uh, our structure for the sort list is like so. Let's copy it down below for, for us to see. 
like so as a comment. Okay, so we need to return the sort list. And for that, we will need to iterate uh, here. So we will have uh, our array of sort list. Sort list. Uh, SL sort list. I like uh, short uh, things. So, yeah. Sort list item which we initialize to an empty list. Uh, and this should have uh, an address and a mask. So let's uh, make this an infinite loop. For true, match. And if it is E or F, we return invalid. And if it is a token, then we do what? We have two options. So if uh, there is a slash in here and if there is no slash. So let's, uh, let's process them. There is a beautiful cut uh, function. Cut talk and like so I believe it is. Air doc bytes cut. Yeah, and uh, we just um, we supply it uh, this uh, delimiter, and it will cut the string uh, from the left uh, on the first occurrence of this delimiter. So uh, if uh, so, the very first uh, occurrence, even if it is missing, will be our address, uh, and the second one. Uh, will be our mask if it is present. If it is not present, it will be just an empty string. All right, so uh, we should parse the IP address again. Have it here. const other IP parse strings from UTF-8 at zero. So this is our address. And uh, now we will uh, now we'll add the mask. So if length of cut one the second part, so this part here, if uh, length is zero, we just say, oh yeah, oh well, nothing to do here. Just return the void. But if it is present. We do the same parsing here. Yield cut one, and we add to the final list our uh, sort list item. Sort list item, and it is an array. Other other and mask mask like so, and return the sl so do we want to make sure that oh yeah by the way here we should not return invalid but break because uh, or when we we when we are in a for in a, when we are in this loop we will uh, <laughs> we should have it uh, this at least sometime but let's uh, make a check that at least a single address must be present. If len of sl uh, is zero, then we return valid, like so. All right. Let's uh, sort list. And let's have this copied. Oh, I like examples. Okay. Uh, like so. Okay. Well. Uh, as config and C as sort list. So uh, sort list. 
ts start list. So we have uh, we have uh, un unwrapped our tagged union, and now we uh, assure that the length of the sort list is two, and then uh, the first address. So it is sort list zero dot other. And it is equal, IP is equal, like so. This will be here. And the IP is 130.155.6.0.0. Let's make this for now. No field by this name exists for this type. Max. All right, all right. That is an easy. Okay. Oh, right. We should also free it. And we. I don't believe we need to do anything with this. So, oh, just free the sort list itself. Let S list. So we don't need to free the addresses because these are um, known size at compile time, but the uh, array is not known at compile time, so we must free the array itself. Like so. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Let's check uh, all the other things. So the mask is 255, 255, 0, and the next address is 130155500, and the next mask is void. And we just uh, use the keyword is, is void, and mask. Uh, argument type. Oh, I see, I see. On not. Oh, I think it is about here. As IP address. So it is either void or an IP address, and we must. Uh, at runtime, say that it is an AP address, so it can. Hmm. All works fine. So, what is next? Domain. Local domain name. Yeah, I suppose it is the same as uh, for the search. And like so. Domain search. I can delete this comment. Uh, okay, domain domain and domain and in our finish function do here too domain. Okay, okay. And let's also test here, like so. Search. Oops. Search. Domain. All right, so what does uh, domain actually do? Where is it from, by the way? Domain local domain name. Yeah, it just uh, is, a, is a single string. All right. What is next? Look up a file and a bind on OpenBSD. So on, uh, oh, on the FreeBSD, NetBSD, and all other systems, it is ignored, as I can tell. Not even listed here. But on OpenBSD, the lookup 
Not this is right. Yes. On OpenBSD, the lookup can have a bind and file. Mm -hmm. <coughs> then the order, then the assumed order is bind file. Furthermore, if the systems resolve con file does not exist, then the only database used is file. Okay. So the order is important. So uh, my previous uh, thoughts about or oh, is it file or bind? Uh, so this is not correct because we need the order. So uh, it looks like an array of two items. And what are these items? Just a tag. Just an enum, right? Look up enum, something like this. And look up maybe type or kind. Which databases? I think it is a database. Database. An enum of either bind or file. Like so, I believe. And it can be a single one, can be uh, missing, right? Maybe like so, no. Bind file, no. Mm, all right, all right. I think this is this kind of makes sense. And we can have a single item. We can have two items. Mm, but uh, but also we need the items order, and we have a very uh, a set a list of items that is available or possible to be in there. Yeah, okay, let's have it uh, here for us to look at later. Then go with lookup. And copy this thing, probably useful. Domain, change to lookup. By the way, how do you like multiple courses in the Cocoon editor? I really like them. So again, we have uh, two items. So we must, absolutely must have the first item token. Now, uh, let us initialize our result. Look. L, just L. Look up database, and it will be equal to maybe not write the signature since it will be inferred. Look up database null and another one null null. So it is our initial state. And at least a single one must be overridden. So uh, we will return this. And let's also insert a check that if L.0 is lookup database null. So if the first one was not overridden from its default, we return invalid. Okay, so this is our first token, and now we go. So if doc 
equals to bind we go with um l zero is lookup database bind or else if talk yeah, it looks like a switch case talk case bind and we do it like this and if it is uh, not a bind then we do it uh, file right file file and in case it is something else we return invalid all right next one so we need another token and in this case uh, if we uh, get an e or f so the second one is not mandatory so we can just return our array if we get it we uh, yield the token and we again do if it is bind like so this file like so so this check is not necessary anymore uh, because uh, we will catch an error here if uh, it's like so if if something is wrong but we should make sure that l1 l0 is not equal to l1 because they should not be equal i believe okay okay quite a long one we managed to do it correctly i believe so let's see hook up bind file um e as on l e as lookup right and now let's assert that l0 is lookup database bind and l1 is the file on and here too case lookup um, since since it is also a, a compile time known thing we don't need to do anything all right all right we forgot to put a semicolon here cannot switch on slice type fine all right no problem yes no problem the fate and also copy it to the switch down below all right so 330 the next as config oh so we have hit an invalid state all right all right let's uh, try to find out what wrong we have here a helpful fmt which we will delete after we are done debugging and the only way to debug is print out debugging i believe so uh, let's see uh, where do we have invalid at all so we can have e or f i don't believe it is here we have bind file bind file oh i believe it should be like so because we return invalid all right let's try all right looks good what is the next one Family uh, on open BSD. All right, family. Net in at six. Family item. Yeah, I believe we need to, this is a poor man's enum. I don't know what I was thinking about last time. 
and this one is also possible option for lookup if the va if the value is no lookup database no it is absent yeah like so i believe but what what i was thinking this one god you know in it or in at x all right all right possible family option all right all right so what is it uh which family to prefer a family item or what is a better name family address type it can be just family item all right first second so uh, i think it is again like so right or maybe we should use a void hmm. Maybe we should use void instead. So, like here. First, second. I think it is also like this, but probably the void type. Here it is a bit confusing because the first one must be present. Here it is also the first one must be present and we encode it as a struct. Hmm. Maybe actually this one should be a struct too. Like first and second. The first must be present, the second is optionally present. Like so. Look up database second but database or void and we don't need the null one hmm. yeah it is interesting let's make it like so i like this more so bind file we don't need to initialize it to no no we just need to, to initialize it to what exactly hmm. okay let's just uh, trace the execution path so now if it is a bind yeah, probably just uh, do something that uh, that is not very lookup database bind second void or maybe even can we do it like this like default arguments yeah and then we go like so first first all right and uh, here if we hit the end of line end of file we return our l going to pick the void here i don't know let's do it uh, let's do it like it is supposed to be because i'm not sure if it is going to pick uh, the void as the second one automatically We'll probably complain and here 
that second. And we should make sure that here we have to already. So if first equals to L second as cut database return invalid. All right, we should uh, fix our test as well. First and second. All right. All right. As look up. Yeah, I think I like this structure. It is somewhat reminiscent of uh, in functional languages, there is a non empty list where we have a first element and rest elements. And uh, yeah, maybe we can use it here as well. Why not? Family. So oh, it is kind of a similar situation, I believe. Family, first one is mandatory, second one is optional. Yeah, it looks like very, very familiar to the previous one, the lookup one. Let's make it uh, very similar to family. Here, look up. Right, look up. Dot family. And now find in it or file in it six and file little in it six and bind little in at four. So it looks like we have it. Yeah, it looks like we have it. Domain, it should be called lookup. And let's make it family. And not family database. Data base should be replaced to item item and as well here not database but item item and in our free function as well we do not need we use enums so we are also free to not use anything in here. And the item bind. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, family in at four, in at six. Hmm. Beautiful. Mm, by the way, today I have uh, E uh, with uh, honey, uh, buckwheat honey, the, the late buckwheat honey. There is uh, young also at my disposal. And uh, this one, the late, is kind of more, how do I say it? It's not sweet, sour. Is sour the right word to describe it? Oh, and options. Finally, finally, some options. So, how long? 40 minutes. 40 minutes to write some like oh, basic, uh, basic. One, two, three, four, five. 40 minutes to write five entries. Oh my god. I'm one of the slowest programmers on this planet, I believe. All right, all right. Well, these should be pretty simple, I believe. Because uh, they have like, uh, they are either this or with a colon and some value. All right, let's go. 
and if we have an option return p option scanner config so what is our parse option is going to look like mm. I believe we will need another one, probably like so, somewhat similar to this one. Domain as option. And here we will do a switch. Where is the nearest switch? Right here. case debug and we return what we return debug as option or i want to say like coerced to option and let's write a test just something simple and case option so far we just return because i don't believe uh, there is anything to be freed in there domain option option debug uh, and what do we do assert p as option um, as debug is void right is like so or uh, is debug like so hmm. so what do we have here why does not assign a function build type Uh, result value void is not assignable to function result type. Hmm. Where do we? Oh, oh, I see, I see. Something like this return yield like this. Yeah, yeah, something like this. All right, let's uh, just uh, go alone with uh, whatever we have here. What are the options? Debug and that. Oh, we cannot use switch here with these column options. They are variable. Mm -hmm. But what we can do is have a cut. I like cutting bytes, cut, talk. Um, colon, not semi, full, full colon, yes. No semi. Cut that zero. If this is a debug, just debug. If it is and dots, then we so what yield p colon opt cut one uh, two n dots like so we do it like so without the final cast because here is the option anyway fn p colon opt and we say that we have uh, an array of bytes yes have an array of bytes some buffer no maybe buffer is not the right one let's just say it as a string and uh, we want to do what get either a byte or error A uh, byte is just uh, a small number. It, um, it's not like a random byte, it's a number. Well, I mean, <laughs> all the bytes like numbers, but um, here it's a representation. The meaningful part for us is that it is a number, just a small one. 
all these don't have uh, large values. P colon apt and uh, I believe we need the strconf library air dog strconf. So what what does it accept as input? Strr, right. Yeah, we need str. Okay, no problem. I return strconf. And we need a string to u8. This is a function. Set to u8. Yeah, it is present. So, uh, strings from utf8 as uh, like so, I believe. Okay, and we should also add our errors. Have new errors because we are doing some conversion. Oops. Type error. S error strconf invalid or conf is it strconf invalid and overflow yes. Oh, we can say just strconf error because it has it uh, right here, and it should also have str error. Yeah, here it is. Uh, and we add another one like this fs strconf, and we add uh, strconf here. Make sure that it is sorted. Yes, is sorted. And uh, here is our option. Option debug. And the column apt. It can return some errors, my friend. Yeah, and we have dots. Uh, our type dots is perfectly a byte. A uni attacked union with a byte size. So, option debug and let's test debug dots. And let's have, uh, what is the default value? dots the default value is uh, what does it say oh it is not the one in oh it is slightly capped but default value is one let's make it two right and we say that as option as n dots equals to two Okay, can we? Is it okay? Yeah, seems okay. Seems okay. And I believe we don't need to make a lot more about these types where there is a single word following the option directive and when there is a colon separated value following the option direction. Let's just make sure to include all the things in here. So, uh, where are all our options? I don't know, I need to resolve conf. Options here. All right. Timeout. Nah. Dots. Timeout. Beautiful. Attempts. All right, another one. Timeout. Attempts. Then rotate, it is a, just void, so we say rotate. Then no checked names, all right. No check names. And I think it is, has different uh, 
yeah, we write it with dashes. Here is dashes, and uh, we use underscores for. Oh, we should write it like so. So next one is in at six. All right. State in at six. Next one is uh, in at IP IP six by string. All right. In at six IP IP six by string. And we should use a dash here. Same goes for the ip.int. Oh, this one is interesting because this one, if you take a closer look, it has ip6.int and no ip6.int. So, yeah, it is a little bit more interesting. So, if we have ip6.int, then we yield true as ip6.int. If we have ip no ip6.int, we yield false as ip6.int. I like it, I like it. Little, uh, little, uh, some kind of person, a little nugget of a diamond. Just uh, little things that I like. EDNS, a single request, single request reopen. All right. Uh, this will look like so. X single dot end request. Oops, just just so. And uh, we should add reopen and here too, just with a dash. Reopen. Then now TLD query. Copy that. Now TLD query and write it here with dashes. TLD query. All right. USVC. USVC is. Uh, a little bit interesting because it can be either like so use vc or like in the free bsd uses it options use vc yeah without a dash and we can freely do it like so just use vc yeah i like here for this uh, switch statement that uh, can mm, compare strings because for example in zig uh, and uh, like C families uh, in general, they allow only, mm, usually they allow only compile time known values. And here we can, these are of course compile time known values, but <laughs> it's comparing strings, blasphemous. Uh, in Zeek it would be like E files, E files, E files, uh, something like A first D mem equal U8. And you have uh, E files, E files. Just a little thing that makes parsing easier, and uh, I like it. Why not? Now reload. All right. Now reload. Again, uh, you are my friend on the most interesting part of this adventure, where we do what? We just uh, repeat some things that. Uh, mm, uh, what I say it? Yeah, in, in parsing there is something that's interesting and something is just repeating itself. But uh, I think I believe this is uh, all it takes. We just uh, make uh, it diligent, make sure that uh, we do everything correctly, and uh, it's, it's done. It's not like there are some quirky bugs that will haunt us after we deploy it. Reload period. Reload period. So it is on FreeBSD. Let me take a look. Reload period is an N. 
Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Where is my the column? Like so. Reload period. And I also saw no TLD query with underscores. No problem. Absolutely no problem for me. Yeah, and it is the last one. Mm, what we have? No TLD query. Yeah, I believe we have covered all the things that are present in here. Okay, yep. Yeah, this seems all right. Let's just go through the main page. Different name, name pages. So Linux, I think we are done with Linux. Let's go to NetBSD one. And so the main search at list options, debug, dots, timeouts, attempts, rotate, no check names. There is no check names here. Check names. Oh. Oh, wait. It has no check names and it has check names. <laughs> check names. The Linux one has only no check names. Oh, interesting. So we should uh, change it uh, like here. Okay. No check names. So it is a Boolean value. And it should have, should have just check names. Check names. Let's go here. So if we have no check names, then it is false as check names and we have if we have just check names it is true all right in a zero in a six and zero one no tld query all right so uh our open bsd manual options tcp uh I don't think we have a TCP one, right? TCP. No, we do not. No problem. Let's just add it. TCP. And it is a void type. TCP. And let's go and say, of course, this the use of TCP for queries. On open BSD systems. All right, let's go and add it. TCP, TCP. Because usually they use UDP, and we can use TCP if we want to. The domain and search keywords are mutually exclusive. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to uh, um, figure out mutually exclusive ones because we only need to parse uh, line by line. It is our scope at least. So yeah, I believe it is fine as it is now. So we should uh, make check unresolvable identifier. No check names. Sure, sure, sure. I need to fix this one. All right. All right. And now we should have a giant test that tests all the things that are possible. I got so many lines of code. All right, all right, all right. Oh, we should have a true false one. Test it to option. Uh, how was it called? Uh, check names. Yeah. Option. No. Check 
names. Option as check names is equal to false. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, let's uh, write a giant test to my favorite part of it all. <sighs> but, okay. And next void. And we will need an iterator. And const our string uh, resolve conf file. And we will write every possible thing in here. Resolve conf.file. Name server at search example.com. And what else? Sort list. Like this one. Sort list. Here. Here you go. And then the main, of course. Why not? Why not? The main. Lookup, of course, of course. Lookup is just a single one. Family also is just a single one. Option, oh my, option, okay. Option. Yeah, let's maybe fill this here and do some magic so we need option base oops oops i do not know how to go back right i pressed the wrong button i wanted to uh everything until the I want to follow up to the first uh, double double bracket, but it will not be exactly correct because sometimes we have uh, two items in a row. So let me fix these cases here. Option and here option and somewhere else probably not probably not. Yeah, okay. Like so, like so. Go to the uh, until the, this one. Yeah, looks like it. Ah, all right, all right. And the most interesting part of it all. Or until we hit end of line. No, probably not. Yeah. Let us go. It should be like so. What is the first one? The name server. Let's just try to make at least a single run. All right, all right. So this one is all right. Next one is this one. Search example. All right, next one is sort list. So it is here, here. And we have only a single item. Let's uh, delimit this with spaces. 
our easier time. All right, like so. All right, next one is the main and lookup. Replace the main is here. And lookup is here. And for the main, we have still example.com, but for lookup, we have uh, the second one is void so we just do it like so is void right yes just bind and also family all non-option types let's do them all now like so finish ls family Okay, and second one is void. All right, all right. So, uh, next, all our options. Comment, comment, like so. And here go our <laughs> options. Let's go. The debug one. Here it is. And I believe we will use a shorter one. We do not need to finish it. And we can do just uh, next as config as option is debug. Yeah. This will be easier. Let's also make a switch like so. So we want resolve conf. Re resolve a skeleton correct. Oh, here it is, just at the top. Where am I? And I want this this one, right? So next one is as dots equals um, dots two two and also timeout three attempts four time out three and attempts four But yeah, we're pretty good, pretty good. So rotate is like a debug. Rotate. Check names. No check names. It is uh, uh, as option, as check names equals. First one is true. Second one is false. Is this right? Right. I just, I'm just checking that it compiles. So we have in at six next IP by string IP six by string next. Then we have this check names but IP dot int six. Then we have uh, EDNS. Let me scroll this down a little bit. We have edns0 and we have single request single request reopen mm. and we have no tld query twice and we have uh, use pc also twice then we have no reload we have fast AD, insecure one, insecure two, reload period, reload period, 
Now this is an option, so it should be equal to five. And the last one is TCP. And uh, the future invocations of next should be void. Is is void. IP.int6 unresolvable identifier. So how is it? Oh, IP6.int, of course, of course. Does it pass? Oh my. First try. First try. And we are brilliant. Our tests. Passes all the tests. So um, I think I'm pretty comfortable finishing it here. I'm pretty comfortable finishing it here. It is one hour, 11 minutes already. So yeah, uh, our next iteration probably will be the final one maybe some like several review requests maybe uh, some mm, division by files for testing and all this stuff but uh, for now we just need to, to uh, rewrite this load function so it uses our new interface and uh, maybe some polishing a bit yeah so i think it's pretty good uh, by the way i want to show you here is uh, the previous one and I plan to eat this hair, this resolve conf string more and more. So it, the, 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 this one will be when the hair eats it, the half, it eats the half. And uh, if you can see, if you can see here, here, I made this little mm, like uh, marks of its teeth. But it's not very visible on this <laughs> scale. Yeah, do you like the rabbit? I hope you do. So have a great day and uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts.